Jim Barnett for Warriors TV alongside Tim Kawakami who has covered the NBA for over two decades and more specifically the Golden State Warriors over the last 12 years. Hey, Jim. Well, you, you've seen this team at its worst. Mm -hmm. There haven't been a lot of great years in all the years that you've covered them. The We Believe was great back in 2007. What do you find intriguing about the makeup of this team 2012-2013? I think mainly it's the guy who's dribbling behind us, Andrew Bogut, um, to start a team with a real center, if he's healthy, and we don't know that yet, uh, a guy who can lock down the middle, a guy you can play offense around as a low post threat, who can score on the low post if he can. Uh, that's totally different than anything you, you've seen in decades here. Uh, you go back to who? Nate Thurman. I don't know who you go back to. You can start a team with a center, then you build out from that. They've always had the outside guys. They've got it this year, Clay Thompson's step. Curry, guys who can play in the perimeter. None of that really goes anywhere unless you have the center, and they think they have the center with Bogut. I think he, if he's healthy, he is the guy. That's what really different for me. Huge difference. Huge difference for this team. Well, what's your take on, on the draft picks? The Warriors feel like they hit a home run. I agree with that. Uh, I, I can't believe that Harrison Barnes fell to him at number seven and, and Azili at number 30. Yeah, with Barnes, yeah, I go back on what I was writing maybe a month before the draft, and I had Barnes at three or four. Uh, they got him at seven. I think he might be the third or fourth top talent in this draft. Now, we'll see how that blends. We'll see if he can pass the ball and play defense, if he's going to be a real two-way small forward. But in terms of scoring the ball, I think in athletic ability, he might be the third or fourth best player in this draft. I think Clay Thompson was might have been the fifth or sixth best in the previous draft, and they got him at 11. Uh, they're making these picks above their scale, let's say. They're getting talent above where they were drafting. That's how you get better. At those most positions specifically, you got to get to the highest level skill. Now, how will, how will Harrison Barnes blend? We'll have to see that. How will he adapt to playing with Bogan and to Curry and Clay Thompson? How will he defend Kevin Durant? Not easy things. We'll have to see that. Talent-wise, I like it. Azili, I think they drafted for your pure need, backup center. And you want a guy who can hustle, play defense, and we haven't seen him rebound in college that much, but I assume he's going to be able to rebound a little bit. These are things are value where you need, you know, you need to pick up value in the draft. I think they got, I think Draymond Green is a value in the second round. I don't think he's going to be a starting player, but I think he's going to fit a lot of different things. This is not the tradition of the Warriors, is yeah. to, to re, kind of pull in value at every pick. It's kind of been the hit or miss, and maybe those guys leave in a couple of years. I think they're building something here. If they do it correctly, keep on doing it where they get the right value and they keep the right players. Do it in a methodical, thought-out way, the way San Antonio has done it, the way Oklahoma City is doing it. Um, first time I've been able to say that the Warriors have a shot at doing this, have an idea about how to do it. Haven't been able to say that in a long time. Well, Tim, we appreciate your comments. We value your comments, and thanks for stopping by today. You got it, Jim, anytime.